Hi everyone, today's story is The Easter Egg by Jan Brett. Chirp, chirp, spring is here. Time to start on my first ever Easter egg, Hoppy said. Each year, the bunny who decorated the winning egg got to help the Easter rabbit hide the eggs on Easter morning. Hoppy had been dreaming about being that bunny all year long. Now it was time to get started. Everywhere Hoppy looked, rabbits were working on dazzling eggs. I need an amazing idea, he thought. Hoppy spotted Flora Bunny planting spring wildflowers in her eggs. The Easter rabbit will love those colorful flowers, he thought, and started picking flowers for his egg. Here's a basket for your flowers, Hoppy, Flora said. Chop, chop, scrape, scrape. Hoppy spied Buster Birch carving a magnificent wooden egg. I wish I had some wood for my egg, he wished out loud. Here you go, Hoppy, Buster Birch said, and he put a smooth round piece of wood in Hoppy's basket. Thank you, Buster, Hoppy said. Hoppy was hopping along when the smell of sweetness led him out of the woods and straight, in, straight to the chocolate egg that Aunt Saucy Frost was decorating with creamy frosting squiggles and bows. Hello, Hoppy, she said, and she put some chocolate squares in his basket. Hippity hop, Hoppy exclaimed. I'll make the Easter rabbit a chocolate egg so sweet it will make his whiskers tingle. Hmm, kind of seems like Hoppy doesn't know which type of egg he should make. What sort of egg would you make, boys and girls? Then Hoppy saw Granny Irene decorating one of her fabulous story eggs. First, she traced the design on the egg with a special tool. Then she dipped the egg in pots of yellow, green, orange, and red dye, adding to the design each time. Hoppy couldn't believe his eyes. I'll never make an egg that beautiful, he told Granny Irene. She smiled. Try, she said, giving him one of her special tools. Hoppy was hopping by Hans van der Rabbit's garden when he spotted an extraordinary egg. Hans was painting a portrait of the Easter rabbit so real that he looked alive. Fantastic, Hoppy exclaimed. Thank you, Hoppy, Hans said. Why don't you make a painting on your egg? He gave Hoppy pots of paint and a fine brush. These bunnies are very helpful. As Hoppy bounced along, a loud boing nearly knocked him off his feet. It was a whirling, twirling, mechanical egg. Whoa, Hoppy said. That's an unusual egg. Would you like to make one? Roberto asked. Hoppy tried hard, but the harder he tried, the more parts and pieces piled up around him. Thank you, Roberto, he sighed. But I think I'd better make the egg that's right for me. Hoppy hopped back to the woods and laid down under a tall tree to think. Making a beautiful egg is the harder than I imagined, he thought. I guess I don't have to win. I just want to make an egg I'm proud of. Hmm. Suddenly, the woods rang with the squawking of birds sounding an alarm. Mother Robin swooped down, calling wildly as if she couldn't decide where to go. An egg had tumbled out of Mother Robin's nest. Inside the perfect blue egg was a baby robin that needed its mother to keep it warm until it hatched. Boys and girls, do you see the egg? It's nestled right here. Hoppy knew what he had to do. He sat down carefully and covered the blue egg with his soft, warm fur. I'll take care of of you the best I can, he whispered. Relieved, Mother Robin chirped and settled down on her other two eggs. What words describe Hoppy right now? Talk to an adult or someone in your family about what words might describe Hoppy. What is he doing and what words describe him? Do words like kind and helpful describe him? Hoppy never left the robin's egg. 
If it was sunny and warm, he carefully turned the egg in its nest of moss. If it was rainy and cold, he kept the egg covered and dry. At night, wild animals passed by. Hoppy crouched down and stayed hidden in the ferns. Often he heard strange noises coming from above, but Hoppy didn't run away. Wow. Are there other words that describe him? He never left that egg, and even when he was scared, he still stayed with it. What words might describe Hoppy? Every day the rabbits worked on their eggs. Tadpoles turned into frogs, buds swelled into leaves, and Easter came closer and closer. So boys and girls, that sentence lets you know that Hoppy has been there for a long time. Because it takes a while for tadpoles to turn into frogs, and it takes a while for buds to turn into leaves. Finally, it was time for the rabbits to take their eggs to the glen. They had forgotten all about Hoppy, who was quietly sitting on the blue egg under the tall tree in the woods. Early the next morning, the rabbits waited for the Easter rabbit. Suddenly, a beautiful wagon rolled toward them out of the mist and stopped. The Easter bunny stepped down from the wagon and admired the decorated eggs one by one. You have brought me the most beautiful eggs in the world, but a very special one is not here, he told them. The rabbits were puzzled. Whose egg could it be? Boys and girls, what's your prediction? What, do you, what egg do you think the Easter rabbit is talking about? Fill my wagon with your wonderful eggs, he said. When I returned, I will show it to you. And he disappeared into the woods. Hmm, where do you think he's going? He came back with Hoppy, looking scruffy and bedraggled. Hoppy has an amazing egg to be proud of, the Easter rabbit told them. He has kept Mother Robin's egg warm and safe until her baby bird hatched and she could take care of it. The Easter rabbit placed the empty blue shell in the place of honor atop the wagon. Now they were ready to go. Oh, Hoppy, Hoppy got his wish. The rabbits cheered for the egg that had surprised them all. It's our best Easter ever, Hoppy, they shouted. Then the brave little bunny and the Easter rabbit rode off together to hide the eggs for girls and boys to find on Easter morning. Boys and girls, thank you so much for listening. Before we finish, I want you to think about a couple of questions. What problem did Hoppy have? What or how did he solve it? And what lesson do you think he learned? Talk to an adult or someone in your family about those questions. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.